this is my last drawing for this series called Better Days. It really has been quite a while from the first drawing that I did to this one. I did not want to rush this project, which is something that I think some of us do. It's a habit I learned to grow out of, but I do remember that before there was something that I struggled with in terms of quality. I remember I would be very excited to work on an art piece, then later would turn out to be a disappointment. It would not turn out the way that I envisioned it, primarily because I would not take my time with it. I would always want to see the end result and would rush the drawing. Now I want to create good quality art that I'm proud of. For this series, I spent most of the time drawing the shells. I wanted the shells to look as realistic as possible, so I focused a lot in the texture of the shell, the structure, grooves, spikes, variegation, and really the list goes on. <laughs> drawing the shell turned out to be more difficult than I thought. It was an idea that I had in my head for a while and I really wanted to put it on paper. Have you guys ever had that when you come up with an idea for a drawing or painting and all that is left to do is actually doing it? Having an idea in your head and actually executing it are two completely different things. When I thought about making a graphic drawing, I wanted to make a drawing that looked interesting to the eye, but not only interesting, I also wanted meaning behind this drawing. In art, I feel that meaning can be found everywhere, from colors being used to facial expressions, and even in the time when the art was created. For me, the meaning was behind two things, the shell and the individual. The shell symbolizes an emotion, melancholy. As for the individual, he symbolizes those of us that sometimes experience dark times and he also represents the uh, different stages that one goes through when experiencing melancholy. To use the shell as a symbol for this drawing came to me in a strange way. In my household, we have seashells as decor, and what naturally I thought of the animals that use the shells as their home for protection. That's when I decided that I wanted to explore this concept a little bit deeper. I still wanted the shell to represent home for security. This security will be from the world, from society, but also a place where we feel trapped inside. Now, for the individual, his poses represent the stages when going through dark times. It begins with acknowledgement and embrace. Then we have desperation for hope. And lastly, freedom. This that person is something I often do when I want to create interesting looking art. I want to take objects and give them a deeper meaning. 
this I just something that I'm not afraid to use again in the near future to be able to create similar looking art like this one but um, we'll see <laughs>